OK, so you have an Office 365 Outlook mail account for work and a private Gmail account. Can you run your Gmail account through Outlook? It would be much more convenient than running two separate windows. The answer is yes, but only if you set it up correctly. Here's my Office 365 account. Click here to open the sidebar. You can now see my single work account. But I can't just add my Gmail account. I need to modify my Google account first. Google considers Outlook to be an unsafe application and won't allow Gmail to be installed on Outlook without some modification. Possibly because Outlook is simply a competitor. But there is a way around the problem. Open your Google account and sign in. Click here to go to My Account. Next, go to Sign In and Security. There's all sorts of options for you here, but the one we need is right at the bottom. Allow less secure apps. Simply use this slide button here to switch it on. You don't have to save anything, and you get a little confirmation bar here. You can now close your Google account, and you'll get another confirmation bar here. Now reopen Outlook. Open the sidebar again and click on Accounts. The Manage Accounts tab opens up and you'll see the Add Account link here. Click it and you'll get an Options window. Click on the Google option. Enter your Gmail address and password and click Next. You'll see a permission screen. Simply click Allow. Next, Google will offer you the option to send emails from your Gmail account with a specific name. You could add personal to your name to separate this account from your work account if you wish. It's just a little safety feature. Finally, click Sign In and it's all done for you. You'll see the new account has been added to the left-hand sidebar. You now have two separate inboxes. Click on each account name to go to those boxes. You can combine them if you want. Simply open the Manage Accounts window again and you'll see a link to Link Inboxes. Click on this link and a new tab will open. All of your accounts will be checked by default. Simply give the Linked Inbox a name. Click Save and there it is. Both inboxes combined, like this. Frankly, I find this both confusing and risky. The possibility of sending personal emails from a work address and vice versa isn't a good one. To separate them again, simply click on Accounts again to open up the management window. Click on Mailboxes, not Link Accounts, slightly confusing, and a window will open up that allows you to uncheck the boxes you want to unlink. Uncheck and you'll get a helpful dialog just a little too late to be helpful. Click Save and you've separated your linked inboxes again. Much better. You might of course want to keep the sidebar open to check both boxes separately. And there it is. All done. eTop Technology we're here to help. If you like these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you found this video helpful, check out some of our more recent videos. And if you're looking for a new IT partner, please visit our website.